right, recording, finally, at last. Um, yeah, I've tried to do two, three videos with my new camera, and I've messed up each time. So hopefully this will work a lot better. I'm going to do more professional reviews with some hints of humour, if you find it funny. Which you probably won't, but oh well. Right, so, um... I recently went down to Model Zone, yes, Model Zone, in Trafford Centre in Manchester, um, and I acquired a few things, and this is one of them, the 1940s Willys Jeep, and it's a uh, model kit by Tamiya, can't really see it because it's very blurred, haven't figured out my camera's functions just yet, here's the front and rear view. So what you're hoping to get when it's finished, including the driver in that position. And some weapons, like little extras, you've got your ammunition box, your 30 cal, 50 cal, 30. Um, your M1 Garand, and your M1A1 Thompson, and the Jerry's cap. And so, uh, let's open this up, shall we? Take the lid off. And obviously, being a little kit, everything comes in plastic bags and spurs. This one actually got the uh, windshield in this set. And uh, here's the other half. So it comes in three spur sets. You got, what, four really? You got your main body of the, the G. You've got um, large components and your windshield then you've also got your uh, smaller fiddly components and all the pieces to make your driver and if we look further into the box uh, you can't see this really well unless I tilt it slightly these markings are actually transfers for your Jeep or decals if you want to call them whatever and um, they can be applied to it to make it look more professional. And lastly, you've got your instruction manual, obviously. There it is Yamato. Yamato, no, Tamiya. I can never say it right. I always think it's Yamaha. Yamaha, that's a bike company. But yes, uh, a nice set of instructions. This one that I picked up is 135th scale. So uh, I prefer 135th scale. It's not too small to be annoying, not too large to be uh, useless. And uh, still requires some skill, but not that much. But the skill is mainly in the painting, but uh, you got your very clear, precise instructions. If they, if they look complicated, they're really not. These are some of the easiest instructions you can find. And the uh, whole thing itself was... Doesn't zoom in properly. £14.50. So, uh, not bad for what you're getting. Your instructions, your transfers, your parts to make the Jeep, the Jeep body itself, and put the box lid back on. Nice little set, not too complicated. Unlike Airfix, it's not everything, that little piece has to be built together. It's already laid out and set out so you can build it just as the one on the front cover. And uh, you get the option of adding a 30 cal to the back. These paints and brushes and glue aren't included, but you need them. You've got your modelling glue, your two paint brushes, one with a uh, slightly larger bristle edge, one with a very fine, so you've got fine detail and large detail. Then you've got your paints. You've got gun metal, uh, dark yellow, fat... Uh, Fat flesh, no, flat flesh, um, buff, flat earth, and olive drab. These are the colours you need for most things, especially if you're doing the World War II US um, GIs or anything really in the 1940s era by the Americans. And so, yes, I shall keep you posted as to how this is going. And uh, hope to see you soon with some improvements and results.